We'll watch right now. Yeah. Well, speaking of accessories and having a lot of them illegally, <laughs> we know that Pete Carroll had a lot of them in USC, <laughs> and now it looked like the heat coming down on him, so he getting the hell on. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. so, what's your whole thoughts on Pete Carroll going to Seattle right now so with said, all this controversy? What you just said is just perfect timing, you know. Why stay? You so, know what I'm saying? Why stay? You having the worst season you had since you've been there. And you're going to go under investigation. You're going to be, have limited resources, recruiting resources, and you probably got a bigger contract in the NFL. So, so is he doing USC wrong? No, but you're going to have. Listen, USC can't be done wrong. You're, you play football in Southern California, where it's 74 degrees the whole year, and you're the main show in town. There's no NFL team there. It is USC football all the way. It recruits for itself. All Pete Carroll had to do was step into those kids, you know, living rooms, and they were going to USC. The 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 issue is that he takes off at a real sketchy time, but. Can USC be done wrong in this case? No. They're still going to get recruits, and they're still going to be the class of the Pac-10. Yeah, they had an offseason, and, and but I mean, it's USC. And for all the things that he's done for the school over, I guess, the past 10 years or so that he's been there, you know, how many national championships? Two? Yeah. I mean, he's got, you know, he's built a powerhouse in, in the Southern California, you know, the hotbed of California, and the hotbed of high school and college football to a degree. You know, he can't really do them wrong. I'm sure he's, he may have done them wrong in the past, but it's too good of an opportunity for him to pass Yeah, off. but did he know, did he do illegal stuff recruiting wise? I mean, you can ask question. any question, any coach that, and I'm sure they've done something. Something's going to be shady. It's just a matter of whether they're reporting. So is, is he a good fit for Seattle? I feel like he is a good fit for Seattle right now. Um, if you try to put any other stadium in the NFL uh, that compare it to a college field, it will be in Seattle. It's, sure. man. It's, it's pretty much almost the same type of field that way uh, with NFL football, just like college football. And it's, like, it's only, wait, maybe three hours, four hours yeah. from where he was, California. So he's still close to the water. Um, I feel like it was a great pick for him. I feel like uh, USC is not going to be hurt, but it'll never be another Pete Carroll. You won't see Snoop Dogg on the sidelines. Uh, you, you might won't see it, depending on what coach that they get. But that, that whole type of culture that we saw this last decade, if Pete Carroll was there, it won't be there. But at the same time, USC is going to be there. Is, is Seattle a good fit for Pete Carroll? I, I, I don't I, I don't I don't like it. I mean it's more it's more it's more Pete Carroll than uh he's been removed from the NFL what is it, ten years how long he's been in the Yeah, it's been it's been a while, about and, ten years. And, and, ten years. and I'll always looking at the Pac Ten and looking at every year when I look at USC schedule, I always say they have the easiest road to the national show, them in Ohio State. I always say that. And now you gotta have competition week in and week out. And I don't know if, and he's not going to have the overpowering team that he had on his opponents in college that he'll have in the NFL. And I don't know if he's going to be able to, you know, outcoach, mm -hmm. you know, players. Like, his talent did the things for him at USC. Like, the talent, they just, they outplayed him. I'm interested to see if he's going to be able to outcoach him. Yeah, he, he, his strength was, was recruiting. And there are a lot of guys like this who are, you can pretty much break all basketball and football co coaches into whether they're a good coach or whether they're a good recruiter. And you can see it in a game, whether they outcoach the other team or whether they just are better than the other team. And USC is consistently better than the other team. There, there isn't necessarily a game that I can think of that, that he outcoached someone, but I can certainly think of games where he got outcoached. I mean, look at the Texas National Championship. Yeah. Okay? So when you don't have the the luxury of choosing your players, you may be in trouble. And it's happened before, well, especially in basketball. Gonna, he's going to be able to pick a few of his own groceries this time. And he's 33 and 31 but, but, as but a everything, head coach. But the, the, play, the, the, the talent level is going to be somewhat equal. True. True. Like I mean, a lot of teams, a lot of times they play teams and they want it was just they USC just yeah. dominated. You know what I'm saying? Especially out in California because they were the they were the they were the they were the uh, the uh, the good the yeah. that's the word I'm looking for the good team or the the high candy team exactly. for, for kids to go to. Everybody wanted to go to USC. That was the top choice. Yeah, I to and, I mean, <laughs> and I mean, if you look at the Pac-10 until so this year, you know what I'm saying? You just look at the competition out there. You like USC is gonna kill everybody. And then they would lose games they weren't supposed to lose. And that was because, think about it. Every year, a team from Oregon 
would beat USC. Yeah. They would, and, and like so, a lot. Some teams just had Pete Carroll's number. Yeah. You know, and you can't have that. I can't think of any other coach in college football where certain teams just had that number year in and year out. You know what I'm saying? And like Oklahoma State or Oregon State, the Beavers. Yeah. For two years they beat them. They just had Pete Carroll's number. And I just don't. I don't see him going to the NFL and just out coaching like a fellow.